Good morning. This is our last chance to assess the final project and make some changes to our wood burning before we start dyeing and carving. I'm going to give you some important pointers on what to look for before we finish the wood carving. So let's go. All right. Just to show you where I am. Okay, I've got the birds. I've got the grasses. And what I'm going to do next is I feel that there's more kind of like detail here than here. So I'm going to put in a little bit more detail on this front side. And I'm considering whether I want to draw in some of the feathers just to make that part a little bit easier. I think that's what I will do now. Although it's so nice and simple. I almost hate to change anything. Feathers are tough because they have quite the curve. But these kind of go sh 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 up and down, up and down. And they have three colors across them. So we can make long drags. We could do some very long drags like this. And we can fill in the rest with paint. But they definitely have a, a pattern. Like I said, this can all be done with paint, but it'll be kind of nice if we have a little bit of lines to go by. So I'm just putting some feathers in between feathers. So just a bit of the of what's going on there. Once you get one line done, then you can do another line between them, dropping down, and then another line between those, dropping down. Like I said, this probably is not going to even show, because once it's painted, all that is what's going to show. But I just think it's nice to give a little bit of definition, and a little bit of that burnt look, and a little bit more detail. I need to do a little bit more with just a little bit of snaky grass, just so I've got at least one of those there. And just a little bit more detail there, just to kind of even things out. And the colors going to the color variations are going to go all the way up into this area. So I'm just marking a couple lines to help my eyes figure it out some marks so that I know where I'm going with that. I think this one is ready. So while you're finishing up all of your weeds, I'm going to go ahead and put the cattails and the grass on my other two, as long as I've got the project going. So I'll see you in just a minute. All right, so now we've got our design on the front and our optional design all the way around the back. And it probably looks a little bit busy right now, but once we make this the focal point, it's not going to look so busy. The next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to dye anything that we want to dye. And the reason that we want to do that now is because once we scrape off the skin and it's unprotected and kind of a pale creamy color, if we drip a little bit of dye from here over to there, it could stain. So first we want to dye, then we want to take off the skin. Get ready to have some fun because our next step is the dyeing. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you join me for the next one. Please subscribe so you get a notification for number 12, dyeing all of the elements on our gourd. Thanks for watching. Bye.